Hi, I'm Helmut Meyer. As a director of um, Aviation H2, we are in a project to make um, aircraft fly on carbon-free fuels. We're doing this in several stages and one of them is to test the idea of burning uh, ammonia instead of jet fuel in a micro-engine. Uh, on Friday, we pulled one of those micro-engines apart and here it is on the desk um, with all the bits and pieces all over the place as we pulled it apart. We of course have to make sure we have to put it back together again. So everything is organized to make sure that. So the basic engine is, is this. We've got the impeller, which is the compressor that sits around the stator that distributes the air through the combustion chamber. We have a combustion chamber that sits inside here and a turbine that allows us to um, drive the engine and make the whole thing work. Now there's also a, um, um, a fuel retrigeration system that sits inside here that allows us to pump the fuel into the combustion chamber. So this is the very basics of the core of the engine. What we need to do today is to consider how we will modify, what the concepts are of the modifications we will do to make this micro engine work on not just jet fuel, but also on ammonia. One of the key things is that ammonia is corrosive to many of the metals and materials that we're using in normal engines, principally aluminium and brass. Now, as you can see, well, this, these two parts are made of aluminium and this fuel ring is made of aluminium and there's some parts, some brass and copper elements in it as well. All those we have to change, we have to pull out and replace with stainless steel. We can protect, we can reuse this by sealing it from the fuel, which we'll do. So we'll re redesign this fuel ring for two things. One is to separate the lubrication flow from the fuel flow and secondly to make it stainless steel. So um, we're in the process of drawing that up and then once we've drawn it up, we'll give it to a machinist and then machine it for us and we'll reassemble this, this stainless steel part into the engine to um, make it work without corroding on us during testing. Uh, the other major modification we want to do is we want to replace the casing of the engine with a glass tube so we can see the flame. So what we'll do is um, where we have a flange on the stator at the moment that takes the, uh, the casing, we'll add another flange that we connect to this flange so that we can add in the tube and firmly tighten it and seal it off. And then we can run the engine while we look at the combustion chamber and see the flame inside the combustion chamber through the holes in the chamber here. So our object this week is to draw all these changes up, to design the changes, draw them up, review the drawing, authorize it, and then go out to market and purchase the materials and the manufacturing to make those modifications, bring them all back, rebuild the engine in the new design, and then go and test it at an airport nearby. Here we go.